All right, look, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I do not know if you have prepared yourselves for the newest arrival to our Labarkatory ranches because it has barely been a couple weeks and we have just finally managed to go ahead and get used to the, the, the fact that we have a copy. We've got a uh, zebra, we have got moose, deer, we've even got, um, well, technically short neck giraffes, but also we've got unicorns and camels, <laughs> camels, alien horses. The whole gigantic list. And yet, Kalino, the amazing Kalino, the creator of all of the custom content that ends up creating all of these mixed and matched animal genes that create some curious creatures in our Labargatory Challenge, has done it. She has set so many of your dreams free, friends, because she made wings. She made wings for the horses! <gasps> Look at this! Look at this! There's actual wings for your horses. You can now have Pegasi. Yes, which apparently is the plural of Pegasus, just so you know. I, I have a little bit of a passion for those collective nouns for groups of animals, and Pegasi seems to be the plural of Pegasus. The more you know, right? Uh, and yeah, there's now Pegasus here too. <laughs> Look at how beautiful Ghost Girl actually is. I'm still in shock. Uh, also, you may notice that there's a little bit of a gap between the wings of your Pegasus and its body. And that's actually because your Sim can indeed go ahead and sit on top of your Pegasus and ride it about. No, it will not fly with your Pegasus, but come on, you're probably too heavy for your poor Pegasi to be able to fly around with you. Instead, maybe we'll just go ahead, sit here, and absolutely be gobsmacked that we even have the option to have Pegasi in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to say a huge thank you once again to Kalino, because without her, we just would not be creating any of these amazing mixed and match crossbreed creations. And once again, you guys, if you want to get early access to all of these fantastic things, including her beautiful like zebra the horns that we have for the moose or well, i guess they're antlers the, the antlers that we have for the moose and the deer you know like the wings the freaking wings a copy you could go ahead and you could get yourself uh like a camel if you want all that, you can go over and you can check out her Patreon because she has been for many years now a adamant creator of some fantastic custom content. And fun fact, she actually has some of my favorite custom content for swings for kids too. I don't know if you guys know that, but she does. And she has some really cute like stuff she did for an advent event a couple years ago. And I really love the igloo house she made. <laughs> for pets uh but we'll put all of that to the side for a second because i know you guys are ready to go ahead and take to the skies with this beautiful pegasi friends welcome to ghost girl yes yes so the way the wings work just to clarify for you guys really quickly are they do count as an outfit you can find them under outfits you can put them not on the saddle though so you can't ride with them your pegasi is going to go or well you can't like ride officially officially with them uh oh wait never mind <laughs> like with the saddle is what i meant <laughs> so you can find them under outfits and you can go ahead and literally outfit your beautiful horse i think yeah kalino also oh, there's the there's the camel yep so you could go ahead and outfit your horse of course and get ready for riding um oh the bridles are over here there we go can i please <laughs> Okay, I know that there's a custom content author who has actually made it so you don't have to have bridles as well. It's a Pegasus. I think we're gonna be safe-ish riding on it, probably. <laughs> But that's where you can find it. And if you're wondering why our Pegasus is glowing, I actually found some custom content, not Kalinos. I'll try to remember who made it. I'll try to remember who made it. Uh, but this actually gives you more sparkles for your unicorns or other horses. And I thought that it's a perfect little bit to add to Pegasus as well. So there we have it, friends. All of the technical aspects of this, like, well, I suppose this class for our pixel biology, laboratory, advanced science, equine degree. Boy, you guys are really specialized, aren't you? I hope you can get a job with this. Uh, anyway, 
we're going to go ahead and let's get to it. We're going to be mixing and matching Ghost Girls jeans with Sasa or Sar Sa Paralia, the beautiful Galeners Cob or Galeners Cob. There we go. One of these days, I'm going to be able to not trip over those names. Today is not that day. That was actually created as a lovely addition from Nova Chartphobia. And I am so grateful because that was one of our Siri horse hashtag uh, finds in the gallery. There's so many of you guys. I am definitely going to be jumping on top of making more of these horse crossbreeds because you have been making some amazing creations and I am so happy to see what you guys have done. Uh, so that being said, ta-da, ta-da. I love this horse and uh, it's going to have a little bit of a surprise because we're now going to go ahead and put on our mucking boots, I suppose, snap on those safety goggles and break out your notes. Definitely take some notes on this because I mean, come on, it's a freaking Pegasus! <laughs> And then we are going to mix these jeans into some little petri dishes, see what you guys are going to actually become. Uh, and then when they grow up into an adult, we'll go ahead and roll to see if they inherited the Pegasus wings. And yes, there are multiple colors of the wings. In case you're wondering, there's a lot of colors, including this very bright parrot color, which made me laugh a lot harder than I probably should have. <laughs> All right, let's get going. We know how to do this by now. And Ghost Girl, thank you so much for suggesting. Oh, that's really cute. Ooh. Thank you so much for suggesting a unicorn and a follow deer, because I do think that would be quite beautiful. Uh, and oh, you actually suggested the names Aluna, Shadow, and Lux. To be honest, because, you know, we had a white Pegasus, I think Ghost Girl really worked for that one. So we're going to stay with that one. But I deeply appreciate your suggestions. And we're actually going to roll for a little filly. One, two, three, four. Hello, little one. You know what? I'm going to let your hooves go ahead and stay whatever color they want to be. Also, I have noticed um, with my foals, they keep like automatically... Okay, what's this? Oh my gosh, there's the camel face on the full too. Oh my gosh. My foals keep automatically having the camel body. Don't panic. They don't have a broken back or anything. It's just a gene that got mixed into the Petri dish for a second. But all right, let me pull up your guys' names and then we gotta go ahead and do this. So now we're going to have Dimitri. Dimitri, you are now going to be a very lovely, well, defiant, friendly, mellow, potential... Pegasus crossbreed, which is kind of amazing. Let me go ahead and read what your genes are going to be. Thanks to the fancy smancy new way that I've already explained in some previous videos of being able to go ahead and look at your genetics. Uh, actually, I wonder if you're going to mostly like look like, oh wow, yeah, I think you're mostly going to look like your parent. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't think that's going to change your colors very much, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and then you are going to have, let's see, third tan. Yeah, I actually think that this coloration might be genetically dominant, so we might not actually have any changes, uh, very many at least, on this one. Uh, in fact, let me go ahead and see if anything... Oh, it's genetically dominant! That means it doesn't matter if we roll or not for this one. <laughs> Because it's not going to change this pattern coloring, but that just means that it was a custom design. Uh, you know, the jeans were already messed with, we'll say. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's just going to be the way it's going to be this time, I think. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and we shall see what the next little one is going to be. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. All right. So now, let me pull... Oh, look at that tail. <laughs> I really love the little tail. That's so adorable. Uh, this little one will have some unique coloring because it did not inherit Sarsa or Sarsa Parlia Parilla. Oh my gosh, Sarsa's uh, dominant like coloration. Uh, well, actually, I guess we don't know that yet because we need to make a filly. Sorry, I forgot to roll this. One, two, three, four, five. And it didn't inherit it. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that's fine because we're just going to have a whole bunch of very golden Pegasus. I could get behind golden Pegasus. And Heather, you are going to be an intelligent, defiant, free spirit. And don't worry, you you, you, you aren't camelbacked. There we go. Uh, and when you grow up, we'll go ahead and see if you inherit the wings or not. And Heather, you also suggest Absil and a shiny nine tails. Let me write that down. There we go, shiny nine tails. 
And nice blue ab absence as well. Ooh, man, you guys have a lot of good Pokemon suggestions too. All right, well, let's see if we get some other colorations or if we're just going to straight up be across the board uh, some golden Pegasus, because that's, that's pretty cool too. All right, we're gonna randomize a filly. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> Okay, maybe we are gonna be Golden Pegasus. And again, don't worry. We just need to massage out the backs of our little foals. They are not broken backed, nor do they have the camel gene. That just happens it, like right now. I think it's kind of funny. So we'll just kind of roll with it. And it's Jelana Mean again. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, you guys, the more comments you leave in our previous videos, the higher your odds. Like that's how it works. It's, I would say it's like getting multiple lottery tickets, but I really don't want to endorse that for any of you. So it, it just ups the odds. And Jelana Bean, I am so tickled that you like the sound of a laboratory magic school bus, because I am going to be honest, I still am loving the idea that I might be repping some Miss Frizzlecore, and I do want to bring that back into my life, along with, you know, our Animal Crossing series with Wildberry, uh, just as an aside. So I'm actually going to make sure I wrote, write that down, though. Laboratory magic skewer bus. Because what if we put that in zoo crafting? Ha ha! Like, you can't, you can't be part of the laboratory without hearing about the crossovers in our crossbreed series with all of our other series, eh? Eh? Because it's kind of like, it's kind of like we're crossbreeding our series when we do crossovers, eh? Eh? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jelana Bean, you are going to be a brave, defiant, and intelligent little foal who may or may not grow up to be a flying golden pegasus. I kind of think it's hilarious that Sarasa uh, was like, you know what? I'm going to have my genes just be so dominant. I'm going to take over the skies. I can respect that. It means we don't have as broad of a color range, but you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. And now we're gonna go ahead and we are actually going to randomize. There we go. <gasps> finally! Yes! We finally have one that's a, a different coloration. And also again, let's give it a little full massage. There we go. Don't wanna break its back. <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. Oh my gosh. And now we have Ninchiru. Ninchiru, welcome. You are going to be a mellow, defiant, brave little foal. And you suggest the name Pompards for our Pomeranian snow leopard crosses, or if they're big, Leo Ryans. That is so much better than anything I was coming up with. I highly approve. Highly. That's excellent. A plus. Like, did you guys ever, do teachers do that thing anymore where they like have a treat jar up at the front of the class when you're itty bitty, like, a, you know, in elementary school or whatever? Because they used to have those when I was a kid and they switched from candy to doing like tiny little toys, like little erasers. I loved that. So maybe I could have like a jar that you guys could, you know, when, you, when you do really cool stuff like that, you could pull something out of the jar. But then it just actually occurred to me as I said that you probably wouldn't trust anything I had lying around the laboratory for good reason. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> All right, Ninjiru, let's go ahead and see what your coloration is going to be. Oh, finally, we're getting some different colors. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Okay, that's exciting. Next color is uh, white. And then let's see. Next color is actually going to be... Okay, this one is going to be this... <gasps> Look at you! Oh, I love this! You've got such a variety! Then you're white on that part too, and then you're actually going to be black here as well. <gasps> look at you, Ninjiru! I love the way these jeans mix, because they just look so usually unique and different. But you know what? I, I kind of love the fact that we've got a very dominant, like, Sarsa jean, and she's just like, nah, I'm, I'm taking over. I'm taking over the skies. Everyone's gonna know they're my kids. <laughs> But there you go, Ninjiru. When you grow up, we'll find out whether or not you are going to be a Pegasus. But look at the tiny dots around the face, too. Oh, that's charming. All right. Time to go ahead and roll for the next of our little itty-bitty foals. We're going to go ahead, and this one is going to be a cult. And we're going to randomize. Okay, two, three. All right. Oh, look at the little long nose. Oh, wait, I forgot. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my gosh. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> that
that's better. I forgot to actually put the right jeans in there. Oh my goodness. All right, and this time around, we actually are going to have Bailey. After Bailey Fox Schneider and Bailey, it's very good to see you again. I know you're a regular around the laboratory working on that degree, are you? You are going to be a needy, friendly, and a mellow little foal who is quite adorable. And you say you don't have a Pomeranian, but you have three Goldens and a Chihuahua. You would like, uh, uh, let's see. Ooh, an English cream golden mix with a tiger, lynx, wolf, or dire wolf, or with a husky. <laughs> I love how you're like tiger. So let's see, golden retriever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm putting it down in my little notes. And then uh, ti like, I love how there's tiger or lynx or wolf or dire wolf or husky. Like personally, wouldn't have immediately put husky in with those others, but I could see where you might, you might say, you know what, that's, that's kind of what they're like. All right, there we go. And now, oh, yes, we got one of the hidden jeans. So I actually wrote down because the Pegasus is a, a magic horse, obviously. Uh, I mean, come on, look at you. It, it's magic just from its sheer awesomeness, if nothing else. Uh, but I actually put one hidden jean that only had a like one out of 12 chance of showing up for any of these foals for the Pegasus because it's a sky horse, right? What's in the sky? Blue stuff! Bailey, you actually have a little bit of blue on you. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, and then you're gonna have, oh my gosh, this red. Yes! Oh my gosh, you rolled blue again. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, okay, so white on the next one, because that's the majority of what we actually have. Uh, and then you actually rolled for this tan color right there on top. Oh, look at you! I'm very excited we actually got the blue jean because it was one tiny little thing I snuck in there as a little treat just to keep our class really exciting, right? I actually, considering we have like camel-backed baby foals, I don't know if we need that, but here we are. All right, and the last of our little mixes this time around. Let me go ahead and, okay, properly roll it. There we go. This is going to be a little filly. We're going to randomize one, two, three, four, five and six. Oh, okay, we have another golden. <laughs> well, that makes things quite simple for little May here after Charlie May. And we're going to go ahead and see that you are a defiant, friendly and brave little foal. Uh, let me give you a massage to work out the kinks in your back. And we know that you're actually going to go ahead and have this coloration no matter what we do. So I'm just gonna leave it there. But you, are go you suggest a Alaskan Malamute. Let me write this down too, because I mean, I would never think to put an Alaskan Malamute and a poodle together. Okay, that's hilarious. All right, well, there we go, guys. It's time. Let's put some wings on these foals. Unless, perhaps, where will Sarsa's genes just take over? I thought maybe Sarsa wanted to pass down uh, some golden pegasus to take over the skies. But maybe, maybe Sarsa's like, who needs wings? I'm awesome. Let's find out. Dimitri, you're going to be the first up and we will roll the dice of destiny. And you inherited the wings! Yes! Okay, so let's go ahead and get you some lovely wings. So you are going to be a gorgeous golden horse that's going to be taking to the skies. Oh man, you can have a lot of fun picking what color of wing to go with your horse. I think we'll go ahead and we'll go with, uh, here we go. We'll go with like this color for right now. And then we do have the black and white of the Pegasus for the maid. Wow. And then, you know, I mean, it's magic, so I'll leave those pink hooves. Wasn't expecting them, but there we go. All right, Dimitri. And Heather, you're up next. Oh, look at you with that tail. Oh my gosh. And Heather, good news. You two ended up inheriting the wings. So, oh wow, you already like came ready to go. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and we'll leave those wings on you because they are definitely what you've got. That's very pretty. Okay, so golden pegasuses taking over the sky. Got it. And Jelana Bean, you're up next. <laughs> Oh, hello! Oh my gosh, you have no tail! <laughs> That's so cute! I'm just gonna leave it like that because we didn't have, like, any tail jeans involved. Ooh, and you actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave those brown wings. Because I like the idea that, it, you know, it, when Jelana grew her wings, this is just the color they were since she had them already. And I, I think that's really fun because she's got a lot of colors going for her. Aw, there you go, Jelana. 
And then Ninchiru, you, my dear, are going to grow up. And believe it or not, you are not going to inherit the wings, which is a bit of... I know you, you wanted red wings. You wanted to grow up and have red wings. But the Dice of Destiny said no. However, I would say that Destiny says yes to how absolutely stunningly beautiful you are. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. All right. Bailey, you're up next. And you, you, my wonderful, wonderful horse, did not inherit. Oh my gosh, you really wanted to inherit the wings. <laughs> I know you wanted to inherit the wings and some horns, but you did not, my friend. Uh, however, I'm sure that your siblings will race along with you. Very cool. I like how the blue is very subtle because you might be able to sneak some special little jeans in there like that. And then finally, we have a little May. Let's go ahead and grow you up. Oh, I love the mix of like the orange tail, but then we've got the uh, white and black mane. A little of both from each parent. That's pretty awesome. And then <laughs> I know you wanted the wings, but you didn't inherit them, dear. Oh, wait, no, I mean, I'm sorry, May, you did inherit them. What color were your wings? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, you can keep that. <laughs> I looked at the wrong one. There you go. But all right, guys, it is indeed Golden Pegasus taking to the skies. That was a lot more fun than I was expecting. I'm going to keep an eye out for these more dominant jeans because holy canoodles, when you mix them, though, it makes it even more satisfying when you get something super unique. I love it. Keep all of those amazing horses coming with the Siri horse hashtag over in the Sims 4 gallery, my friends. And keep all of those suggestions for different crossbreeds popping down in the comments below, which will give you all a chance to go ahead and, I guess, get a very scary treat out of the treat jar for being cool pixel biologist. Maybe I'll just put, like, those, those, like, erasers that look like food in there. Probably shouldn't put actual food. Don't, don't eat anything here. You shouldn't do that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!